up? Happy Monday. My early morning client just canceled, so I have a longer morning than usual, and I'm super excited about it. Um, just meditated, and now I'm gonna get dressed and go to the gym, because that's how I like to start my day off. Strong, mentally, physically. Yeah. Oh, come on. Work with me. What is wrong with me today? Here we go. So this Monday morning at 7.59 a.m., I am ready to tackle the week. Mm, I'm gonna make it my week. I'm gonna be super productive. I'm gonna accomplish a bunch of things. It's gonna be great. So first things first, gotta go out there and move my body. So I'll see you at the gym. So this morning I woke up and I saw that my 9 a.m. client canceled and I was thinking, okay, cool, I get to take the morning off and just like catch up on Game of Thrones. Because when I wake up first thing in the morning that I do is I meditate and then I go to the gym. However, I only watched like 30 minutes of Game of Thrones last night because I was out and I got back at like midnight. So I want to catch up because I don't want people to spoil it for me. But in the morning I was battling this thing of should I watch Game of Thrones? and you know, work out during the day, like at one or 2 p.m., or should I just get out of bed and actually go to the gym? And I know myself because if I don't work out first thing in the morning, I'm not gonna do it during the day. So I'm very happy that like I won this internal dialogue with myself and I totally took my excuses and put them to the side and asked myself, okay, what kind of person do I wanna be? Do I wanna be the kind of person that wakes up and watches a TV show first thing in the morning? Or do I wanna be the type of person that wakes up, meditates, goes to the gym and, you know, sets herself up for success? So I'm happy I did that. This is how I prep to go to work every single day. somebody comes back i think it's hilarious everybody's been saying that you're up to no good everyone has been telling me that you got me hood you're playing it big time you're feeding me lies everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties but i would never ever ever would have believed them Okay, it's super windy. I made it to Tribeca. I'm gonna go train my client. Oh my god, my hair is like flying around everywhere. I'm gonna go train my client and then I'll see you back home. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I just got back home and the client that I just had, Emily, she had a little gift for me and honestly, it made me cry. So she started taking calligraphy classes and she wrote me this beautiful, beautiful note on this beautiful paper in such incredible um, font. And it made me cry when I read it. I just love my clients so much. I mean, I love what I do and even though personal training is not what I wanna do for the rest of my life, I mean, it's a day job that I love and the people that I get to work with and see on a weekly basis, I mean, they're like my best friends. And the fact that Emily wrote this to me, it, it moved me so much. It moved me so much. It just means so much when somebody actually sits down and makes something from scratch for you because it means that you were on their mind and they took the time and the effort to make something whether that's you know cooking for someone else or drawing or painting or making a handmade card or you know creating a piece of music or writing a poem for another person it's so much more meaningful because you are putting your time and your effort and your love into it versus, you know, just ordering something on Amazon. So when somebody takes the time to show you how much they appreciate you or how much they love you, uh, 
That's just so special and so beautiful. I want to start writing like handwritten letters and send it to like my family and friends. I feel like that'd be super awesome. How fashion is my hair? It's um, super fashion. <laughs> today is Wednesday. I have three clients today, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 7 p.m., I believe. And I'm really excited because the weather has been incredible outside. And also, I am gonna go to a Soul Psycho class at 5 p.m. So it's a full day, lots to do. and then we train clients. I know this doesn't look very um, visually appealing. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I take my words back. Look, it looks really good. It's pieces of apple, it's oatmeal. Mm, mm, mm. I've got the time. with my first client I just arrived to Tribeca to train my second client the weather is absolutely stunning and I love being outdoors when New York is amazing because in winter time it's so cold you don't get to take the full advantage of the city so when the weather is just so beautiful all you want to do is be in Central Park and go to Soho and an infinite amount of things that you can do so New York City in the summer is like the best thing ever Greta. Hi. She is Estonian, I'm Lithuanian, and actually it's funny how we met because I found her YouTube channel and I emailed her and I was like, hey, I'm Lithuanian, you're Estonian. We're do you the want Baltics. Yeah, I was like, we're the Baltics. I was like, do you want to be friends and like hang out in New York? So that's how we met. Everybody gets kicked out, so. <laughs> this is the expectation. This is the reality. Yeah, that's nasty. Penny, it was a quarter, so like <laughs> my wish has to come true. <laughs> next video, tune in in the yeah. next vlog for when my wish comes true. <laughs> Okay, nobody stole it. Yeah. I have my matcha, I'm going to Soul Cycle, and I love Soul Cycle so much because it always like pushes me mentally. And whenever it gets really hard, I usually want to quit and stop, but I realize that it's my habit and I like do it in other areas of my life as well. So Soul Cycle is just like for me to prove myself that I can do something, you know? So the next time you see me, I am going to be exhausted and hopefully I will feel really, really good. Say that I'm exhausted is a very big understatement and I gave my all. I mean when I said a mental challenge, Mantis, the soul cycle instructor, gave a mental challenge. So it's 7 p.m. right now, I have a client at 8, so from 8 to 9 and then I'm gonna go home, so I'm gonna be home around 10. <sighs> I'm really tired. I'm 
back home. It's 10.20 p.m. I had such a beautiful, long, productive day. The whole idea of me vlogging or me sharing what I share is that I wanna bring more consciousness and awareness to my own life, but also, you know, through sharing my experience and, you know, what I'm going through, I know that I'm able to bring more awareness and consciousness into the world and also into your lives. Everything that I document and everything that I do is under the motto, I don't like the word motto, more like under the quote of as you think, so shall you be. I'm just so passionate and curious and, you know, interested about what happens up here and what happens in here. So me documenting my day-to-day -day life or me documenting what I'm going through is just so fascinating for me because, you know, what beliefs am I dealing with? What thoughts am I dealing with? You know, what are the breakdowns that I'm dealing with and how can I turn them into breakthroughs? It's always so beautiful and exciting for me to see myself grow, learn from my past mistakes and change my thoughts and change my beliefs and really just step into my full potential and bring more awareness and consciousness into the everyday things that I do. And I feel like I just wanted to like sum up that if I vlog and I do a week in my life, a day in my life, it's still all about being the best version of ourselves and consciousness and awareness and thoughts and beliefs and how I go through life. Um, well, you know, this thing up here. <laughs> Hi friends, today's Thursday. How you doing? The weather has been super weird. It was warm in the morning, then it rained like crazy, then it was okay again, then it was like a thunderstorm with lightning and rain and it was really intense. It's getting darker by the minute and any second now it's gonna start raining and thundering like crazy. Oh my God, it's like one of those apocalyptic moments where like the world is about to end. And now it's sort of like nice again. So um, that's your daily Gabby's weather update. Um, I made myself some tea. Ah, whew. it's hot, um, clearly, because it's tea. I made myself some tea and I just wanted to talk to you about this thing that I've been doing every single evening for about a week now. Now, one of my favorite teachers ever is Dr. Wayne Dyer and he passed away in 2015, but he still remains one of my favorite and like most incredible teachers ever. And he talks a lot about manifestation and universe and you know how our thoughts influence our life and there are so many books written about it, but it's also something that he always talked about. That is the words I am. Now, whatever follows the words I am is how you create your world, right? So many times we go through life saying things like, I am stupid, I am dumb, I am fat, I am ugly, I can't do it, I'm not capable. And it doesn't serve us, especially if you're laying in bed at night, about to go to bed, and you start thinking about all the negative things and how you know you're not capable and how you can never be successful it's not going to help, especially right before going to bed. You're just putting those thoughts into your subconscious mind. Now, since I was like 12 or 13, I started delving into spirituality and kind of like personal development. So ever since I was little, I knew that my word creates my world. And I never, never, never say things like, you know, I am broke. I never have enough money, blah, blah, blah. Like those thoughts, like I don't have these thoughts. I don't have these beliefs. I don't speak these things into existence. And as you know, a matter of fact, I'm never really in a position where I'm super broke or like I'm really desperate for money. And whenever I do need more money, I just say, you know what? I know that money is coming. It's on its way. It's going to appear anytime now. And it happens to me every single time. It happened last week. It happened the week before that. But basically, I want to talk to you about what I've been doing when I lay in bed right before going to bed. And that is saying affirmations that start with words. I and I say things like I am healthy, I am strong, I am love, I am joy, I am abundant, I am always right where I'm supposed to be. And it feels so, so, so good because right before going to bed, I put these amazing, beautiful and empowering thoughts into my mind. And then when I wake up, I feel actually really enthusiastic and I feel like I am those things that I said I am. And I've just been having a really good week because my mindset, I feel like has been really in a great place and I'm not, you know, trashing it with really ridiculous and silly thoughts. When you repeat things to yourselves, it becomes a belief. And once it becomes a belief and it becomes so ingrained in your subconscious mind, you are acting on an automatic. Like you don't even need to think about it. It becomes a habit. The same way when you go and brush your teeth or you go through your morning routine, you don't even have to think about it anymore because it's automatic, right? You did it so many times that your brain doesn't have to think about it. So think about what you say to yourself because if you are in a habit 
And if you've always been saying things like, I'm stupid, I am dumb, I'm not good enough, and you've said it enough times, you are automatically functioning from that belief, from that, you know, mindset of lack. Definitely not a place of empowerment. So I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing for like about a week. Every single evening when I lay in bed, I go through all the things that I'm grateful for that happened in that day. And then even if it wasn't like a good thing, I will be like, you know, thank you for this experience. Thank you for teaching me this, or thank you for, you know, this unpleasant experience. And then I will start saying things like, I am this, I am strong, I am healthy, I am abundant. And it's been incredible. So um, that's my little, uh, how to explain it? That's my little nightly routine that I've been doing and you know, little words of encouragement for you. And now I'm gonna go drink my tea. My legs are also incredibly sore from Soul Cycle yesterday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in into this video. Tomorrow, I don't really have much to do. I think I have like two clients to train, but I'm gonna wrap up this a week in my life right here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I definitely wanna make more videos like this. Um, you know, kind of like take you into my daily life but also like what's running through my mind what my beliefs are what I'm doing how I'm thinking how I'm how I'm overcoming things that need to be overcome is that correct grammar I don't even know but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye